Welcome back to the Overlord LP on the RTK channel, an LP surely to be full of evil, sire. This evil LP is brought to you by the Daily Mail, racist in public, so you don't have to be. Yes, welcome back to us destroying things because we are the Minion Lord. Anyway, uh, speaking hey, of speaking of minions, I think we, we should just explain the where the Minion joke came from. Yes. Uh, yes. I think back when we started so talking Kari for the first time, she recommended this this game. And for example, uh, Overlord 1 and 2 were a part of the Kari Okami experiment back when the previous experiment first started off. For those of you who know, remember that stuff. I'm um, yeah, and I made the comparison because, as you know, I do the gnarl voice and shit, and I actually based the same voice off of how Taras would sound. Because I, I, I believe the mighty one talks like this. For I am the mighty one. Before you can no. And so how was like? That's not what I sound like. And then I, I don't sound like that at all. So, yeah, I like I based the gnarl voice kind of off what gnarl sounds like in the game and what I think Taras sounds like. So one particular evening, we're on Skype, we're just messing about. He was mm. away from Mike, and we, we needed him, and we started calling out his name, and for whatever reason, Kari yelled out, <laughs> and Howard replied with, What? And it's been a joke ever since. Alons alongside <laughs> the stupid helping hand, Gaff. Well, that's got nothing that's to do with this game, though. Yeah, but even, even still. So, anyway, <laughs> we, we have a net recurring enemy in the game, Sheep. Indeed. And sheep provide life force. Life force is essentially what is needed to create minions. Yes, without life minions. force, without life without force, life force you have no minions. But you need lots of life force if you want to forge better armors later in the game. So it's a good idea to kill all enemies that you can and gather up as much as you can without using up too many of your minions and getting them killed. I so just come back so to this essentially, we're just committing grand theft mutton. I used to just keep coming back to this area to gather it, because I had like 432 browns at one point. Uh, is... The best way to actually gather up loads of um, freaking life force, you actually get not long into the game, but we'll be seeing that a lot later on when... And I'll, I'll be technically showcasing that off as well, just maybe the one time to show you the method. And that's really much to be it. Also, th this game has a horrible habit of having minions getting stuck to fucking things like walls. Like yeah, so really. sometimes like the min like I'll have like four, like thirty minions with me, and they keep saying twenty-seven. Like where's those three gone? And it's, it's an annoying fucking pain to actually go through. Also, minions can equip armor themselves, which is a big, huge step up from fucking Pikmin because oh, one, they suck. I'm gonna just just point out one sick thing I'm going to do with this game. There's a town we're going to find later on called Spree, and I like to keep going there and mercilessly killing every single person in the village, and I like to pretend that they basically, when I take their life force, put it into the, uh, the minion hive, they turn into the minions that do my bidding. So yeah, Spree! James, what you mean is we're going on a killing spree? Indeed. Uh, I made that joke on Skype and Kari told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> but to be fair, yeah. that joke, that joke is still funnier than anything the WWE writers would come out with. True, true. Anyway, now with this game, just because I know people like to bring up the comparison to the Fable franchise, there is like a moral choice system, but the game implies it's like we would like you to choose the evil. We want to be evil, but there's a problem. You are evil. This is an evil simulation, and the problem with it is that the most lackluster villain is playing it. Uh, excuse me. For example, even though we're not gonna see this in the LP, unfortunately, like if you just happen to like say this guy here, if we choose to kill him now, the next time we come back to the spree area, the actual residents of the town will offer up their wenches for you to kidnap and take back to your doom fortress. Well, on paper, that does sound like really diabolical, like kidnapping these defenseless women to be your mistresses. Unfortunately, when, and when piss you, off tumble at the same time. But unfortunately, when you get them back to your, your castle, they don't really do anything. They just kind of just wander around and say the sem same sentence over and over again. Kari, would you have to demonstrate? If that no looks at me one more time, I'm going to hit him with a poker. Doing all doing their best Daisy dumbass impression. 
which is a problem. Also, there are dis as you probably may have mentioned, I so said just, that just they to round that up, it's like you can do that, but it's it doesn't really you, you can't really point them or anything. It's like it's just kind of pointless. Yeah, there's so no more aesthetically pleasingness on the eye for if you're actually into that you're kind of thing with your overall. But the thing is, like thing? they don't do, they don't really do any. There's no like they're not like on their hands and knees scrubbing. They're not they're, they're, like, they just walk around. That's all they do. It's like you couldn't just animate a couple of different things for them all to do. No, you'll be hearing us make a lot of comparisons to the first game because the first. First game, the second game. Sex, I guess. Because the, se the second game actually in, kind of enforces a lot of proper yeah, evil techniques. For example, the good option in this one is essentially the book down that you can be nice to people while still going around destroying everything. You Basically, you, explo you exploit the stupidity of this game. Yeah. Or you just go around killing everyone. In the second one, you have a choice of killing everything or using mind control to actually um, control them with your magic. Essentially, it means in the second game, you're still a complete cut. second one's oh, way yes. superior as well. Don't we know that, James? Oh, wait, you never what? beat it. It's a part of the, the second pre owned experiment, and that's on the list. <laughs> I still maintain, from what I played the second one, I like the first one more, but maybe that will change, who knows? Yes, because I do remember at the time you actually kept on seeing this as a Pikmin game crossed with Fable. That rose from those dead I, I you were in a very, that, yeah. you were in a very dark place. Energy. Very dark. Yeah. You were dating oh, me. <laughs> well, that's technically a dark place too. <laughs> that, it's funny you said that reminds me of, um, <laughs> Reminds me of a scene from Batman the Animated Series, actually. It's mm. the, I mean, it's from the episode uh, Almost Got Him, where the, the villains are all playing a game of cards. Poison Ivy shows up, and Two Face looks at her and says, Half of me wants to strangle you. And she goes, And what does the other half want? To hit you with a truck. She turns to the other villains and goes, We used to date. And they all go, Oh. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, we just found, we found the Tower Heart. That in the middle of, the of a episodes, fucking though. pumpkin field. What the fuck, oh, no, no, what sire, a disco ball. You, no, that's the tower. Hall. What the I fuck were you doing? Oh, you see, sire, us, us minions have a. Uh, we like to party hard, sire. You laughed at that, didn't you? What happens in Mordor stays in Mordor, you young laughed lady. A fucking bet. Suck my giant goblin sausage. <laughs> You can tell the call of GS thing is going to be a fucking thing to be around. Anyway, we've found a shortcut. Not to and roll. they stay that way. Which is a good thing, unlike fucking Pikmin. Yep. I it's think. Short. I thought we said we weren't going to keep bringing Pikmin. <laughs> uh, we can... Uh, we, How would fail uh, in time? You must remember that. Giblet! Giblet, Giblet is Baldi. our favorite minion. Oh, yeah. Giblet and there's Gubbin. Yeah, Gubbin. And there's Baldi. Yes, yeah, so there are a lot of and fun, interesting... Um, names for all the minions that you can get, and to be honest, like particularly Giblet, he's one of my favourite minions. He gets promoted, sire. He does he indeed. Has, we'll find. He never pass. In fact, that what did I hear about you going to with zero corruption rules? Well, man, I'll explain yes, further. Sire, Probably in the next explain. part, I'll explain. If you go for zero corruption, you're basically exploiting the naivety and the, of the stupid fucking people that we're gonna meet. Basically, if we get if we expose these people, we get more money. More money means more things to buy, more things to buy, more things to improve the tower. Also, the tower heart gives us a gift of ten minions, which David is David Cameron would love you, sir. Probably, and also the fireball spell. Who is a robust fellow, might I add? Who actually survived, thank God. Oh Gizmo. yes, the power to shoot pyrokinetic energy, sire. Truly worthy of an evil foe such as yourself. Of course. I like the A crane would be cocaine's a hell of a drug. Don't you don't you mean cocainum? Cocainum. <laughs> Run, sire, go! Get to the chopper! And we can also hear Arnold comparisons as well. Arnold, you are a fucking choir boy compared to me! A choir boy! Shut up and stop watching the dad jumps in the dark. Bullshit! What's that? I shall stay here. 
That's the his son. Will allow me to speak Just above your head. To that you, is sire, and so see here what it. you do. You white stuff, are you made of it? If you aren't, I'll beat it out of you. I got that real quickly. Yeah, yeah fuck off, Chester. Yeah, powder, you unicorn horn. Tickle my me. feelings. <laughs> oh, I God. didn't know you two were dating. I was talking to you, stupid. Anyway, let's get this out of the way. That's the end of this part. See you in the next one. Goodbye and fuck off. Yeah, what he said. And Bye. Don't you burn. Bye.